built a profile, uh, did a little bit of investigative work, generated some leads as to who his family might be, and, uh, and that information was relayed back to the investigators. Well, now to an exclusive. We're learning how the Ector County Sheriff's Office was able to identify remains found in a Gardendale pasture. The body was discovered two years ago. ABC Big 2's Caitlin Landers joins us live in studio. Caitlin, investigators use special genetic tools. Carson, ACSO investigators have worked on this case for nearly two years, but they weren't getting answers. So they turned to a lab based near Houston to try a new method. The Ector County Sheriff's Office says ranchers found human remains while working cattle back in 2019. After nearly two years with no matches, investigators reached out to Othram, a lab that works on cases around the country. Their team uses DNA markers similar to CODIS, but takes in more information. Instead of 20 markers, it's got tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of markers. So there's a lot more information that we're able to develop from the crime scene and evidence. While it's a newer system, the CEO says it's meant to work in conjunction with other methods. He says the biggest challenge in this case was working off partial remains. Anthropological analysis is as tough as it is, but if you don't have like the full skeleton or part of the skulls missing, like those kind of things can make it very hard to identify someone, particularly if there's not a lot of clues left of the scene. Othram says they made a profile, ECSO used it to find a potential family member, and the lab used testing to confirm that Timothy Daniel Gomez was the person found. The CEO says it's rewarding for his team to help cases like this one. If you're able to, to give an answer to someone, um, and if you're able to work even one case, there's so many people that benefit from that. The next step is finding out what happened to Gomez and why. We did reach out to the Ector County Sheriff's Office, but have not heard back. Caitlin Landers, ABC, Big Two News.